Hi everyone, Gron K here for the Flame Premium Learning Channel. In the previous video, we saw the action timeline effects and we discussed the workflows and differences compared to previous versions of Flame Premium and Smoke Advanced. In this final video on timeline effects, we complete the series by covering the promotion of the timeline effects to BFX and Batch. There are a few options to choose from and each will give you a different result. Some of the operations may remind you of the pre and post BFX operations matching previous versions of Flame Premium and Smoke Advanced. We'll start off in a sequence that already has a few timeline effects as well as layers to cover these workflows. So I'll select the single segment to start. In the effects pipeline, it has a few basic timeline effects. The first example I want to show you is taking the source media into BFX and work on the source media before any existing timeline effects are applied. This is very useful if you want to do any work on the source media with BFX followed by the timeline effects being added to the BFX result. For example, this could be color correcting a composite or perhaps adding a title. So I'll call up the effects ribbon using the Control Tab hotkey. For Smoke Advanced, press Shift Tab for the effects ribbon. There are a few options under the Create Batch Effects button but make sure they are all unchecked. For existing artists, this setting matches the pre-batch option on a single layer in previous versions. When you go into BFX, you are presented with the original source clip connected to the BFX output node. You can now start adding nodes and composite the media. So that's what I've quickly cooked up. When you exit back to the sequence, you will see the segments effects pipeline. First you have the BFX composite and the original timeline effects follow afterwards. Please note that you can only deselect all the BFX options with a single segment selection. The next example is taking the timeline effects of a segment into BFX. So as before, there is a timeline effects applied to my segment and I will call up the effects ribbon. This time I'll enable Include Timeline Effects. Clicking Create Batch Effects will go into BFX and show the flow graph of the nodes that recreate the timeline effects. So with single segments, you can choose to include or leave timeline effects when going into BFX. However, when it comes to multi-layer composites, the timeline effects will always be pulled into BFX and converted into a node flow graph. For example, I'll select these layers and call up the effects ribbon. Please note that Include Timeline Effects is ticked and you could flick between the other options, however you can't disable everything. Now this layered timeline composite has been built with 2D transforms and comp timeline effects tools. With Include Timeline Effects ticked, go into BFX and you can get an exact translation of the timeline effects into a node flow graph. You can see how each piece of media has a 2D transform node. The 2D transform node is connected to a comp node at the end of each step that builds the layering of the composite. Looking at the result, it should look the same and be just as fast as the timeline effects in the sequence. But there is another option in the effects ribbon which can change the translation of the timeline effects to BFX flow graph. So I'll step out of the BFX and undo the operation from earlier. Once again, I'll select the layers and look at the effects ribbon. This time, choose Convert to 3D Comp. When entering BFX, the application will convert all the Comp Timeline Effects tools and change them into layers feeding into an action node. The 2D transforms are still present on each source, but the results of each section are rebuilt using Action as the compositor. Please be aware that if you use multiple action timeline effects on multiple segments, the flow graph will be rebuilt with multiple action nodes connecting into each other. This is a direct translation of the layer based sequence into a node flow graph. The other point to mention about compositing with action timeline effects is if you intend to bring them into BFX or Batch, turn off Use Back in the mini toolbar for each action timeline effects. 
This will ensure that the alpha of each action node flows correctly into the flow graph. And here is another small tip. If you select a single segment and go into BFX with Convert to 3D ticked, the flow graph will just get an action node before the BFX output node. Coming back to the sequence, there is one final option in the FX ribbon. Whether you do this to a single segment or to a multiple layer composite, the result will be the same. In the FX ribbon, choose Add Adjustment Segment. This uses an empty video track above the selection and adds an adjustment segment with a BFX. Upon entering BFX, you will be presented with a backclip node connected into a BFX output node. As a reminder, the backclip node is a virtual clip that is reading all the tracks below the adjustment segment in the sequence. For example, I'll add a simple color correction into the flow graph and give the footage a grade. Coming out of the BFX, you will see that by using this method, the layers beneath the adjustment segment are separated from the BFX. This is extremely useful for versioning and iterations. Even changes in editorial can happen underneath the adjustment segment without affecting the flow graph. So those are the three options you have for promoting into BFX inside a sequence. The final topic we will cover is taking any of the single or multi-layer timeline effects and promoting them into the batch creative area outside of the sequence. If you wanted to perform work on a selection of your edit without being directly in the sequence, then this would be the way to go. So control swipe to bring up the media panel. Now select the single layer segment or multi layer composite in the sequence. At this point, you can either make a copy to the desktop or drag a copy straight into batch. The option is yours. Hold Shift Alt to create a copy of the selection. For Smoke Advanced artists, hold the F hotkey to make a copy of the selection. I'll drag my selection to the batch header in the media panel. This will drop the clip node into batch and switch to the batch creative area. You can now call up the clip properties. Here you will find the Timeline Effects options. You can either explode the effects, which matches the Include Timeline Effects option in the Effects ribbon. Or you could convert to 3D Comp, which also matches the Convert to 3D Comp option in the Effects ribbon. So it doesn't matter whether you choose to go down the Batch or BFX route, you will get the same options for your workflow. This concludes the main series on Timeline Effects. If there are any changes or requests, I'll add videos when necessary. I hope that you've enjoyed this series on Timeline Effects in Flame Premium and Smoke Advanced. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Flame Premium Learning Channel for future videos.